What's up guys? So today we have something super interesting that we're going to be working on. We have some things that we have to do inside the shed. So first I need to get all the mowers that are in there out and it's snowing. So let's get to it. All the mowers out look at this floor guys it is super dirty we need to get it cleaned up so um, yeah I guess that's what I'm gonna do now all right guys so I brought the push broom in here and I brought the shot back I'm gonna do the best job that I can with these things um, I kind of think I might have to mop it for some reason because there's a lot of mud and it's pretty caked in here, so I'll see what I can do with what I have right now, um, the push broom and the shot vac. Um, wish me luck. So what I'm gonna have to do anyways, because in this dirt mix, there's also little tacks and stuff all mixed in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use a shot vac to clean all of it up instead of just like pushing it out. All right, looking back. Well, the broom did pretty good getting up the majority of it all. So I don't think I'll have to mop it. We'll go over it with the shot vac. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I'm what I'm getting here. If, in case you guys are wondering where Sean's at, he actually went to the store to get what we need for this project. So this is what I got so far. She's alive! So you see the gist of what I'm going to be doing now, just getting up all around the edges. And I'm going to go over every square foot of this with the shot vac just to make sure I get all the debris picked up as best as I can. All right guys, so I went and got a bunch of stuff to uh, get these floors taken care of in here. Savannah got it all swept up as best she could, cleaned up. Now we're gonna get the heater going, get it nice and toasty in here, and uh, yeah, get to it. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. We were kind of just figuring out what we wanted to do. We were thinking about doing uh, linoleum, and then we were like, that'll be really slick. We need something with a little texture, so we ended up going with this product here that 
quite a few people recommend it to us. And uh, yeah, it's a Rust-Oleum garage floor coating in it. And then it has these like little specks. I bought an extra bag too. Just because everybody pretty much recommended it. And then you just throw these little flakes down and it gives you like a grit to walk on. Get some diesel in the heater here. Thank you. 
so we're just working along here. We are. We're about halfway, maybe a little bit over halfway, maybe 60%, but uh, we're running out of material. So they said this thing can do 450 to 500 feet. Uh, the building's 504 square feet, and I'll tell you what, we're probably 200, 250 feet short, I would say. Yeah, it lays down, it's, it's super thick, but it lays down real nicely. It gives a nice coat, and putting the paint chips in there makes it look really nice. I like it a lot. She's like, it's so fun. I said, let's do the floors in the house now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get back to work. I'm going to go get some more material. All right, be safe out there. So we got about $440 total here. down to the wire. I'm gonna need my shoes over there, babe. Looking good. Can you back that paint up just a hair for me, please? Time to order new hoodies for the season. <laughs> Watch yourself real quick, babe. Um, sorry, guys. I'm going to use you real quick. <laughs> oh. Slide me down. Slide in.
All right, so I'm gonna finish putting these in he on here. Um, I am going to put them a little heavier on the entryways. This is the only confetti party that you will uh, ever see on this channel. <laughs> I think it's good. Okay. So there you have it. What do you guys think? I'll try to get you another shot first thing in the morning and uh, maybe show you what it looks like in the daylight because it did get pretty dark and we're only working with one halo light here. But I'll tell you what, it looks really good from our uh, our visual, I guess you could say. I love it. Good it job. Was, it was an easy process and I, it was fun, yeah. fun to do. It was cool. It yeah. is cold out here. Luckily we had our heater, so that helped out a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're gonna turn it on, let it work its way in here for a little bit, probably an hour, and then I'll come out and shut it off for the night and then uh, close it up and lock it up and all that stuff. But if any of you are looking to do a project like this, this is a 14 by 36 foot shed. So I believe it was 504 square feet. Uh, this product said it does 450 to 500. Uh, we found out it does about three to 350 for us. That's just what we really came into. So we had to go buy two of them. We only use one, maybe a half of one more. Uh, and we thought personally, the second one went on better than the first one. Yes. It, it seemed thinner and spread a lot easier. Uh, this product is $214 at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, I did have to go to both of those because once one had dark gray and the other one, or the, uh, they didn't have a second dark gray. So I ended up having to go to Lowe's to get the second one. Uh, but yeah, you're looking at about, for this size shed, you're gonna be about 400 bucks, 450 bucks, somewhere in that range. But uh, I think it was well worth it. It turned out really good Absolutely. and it's gonna protect the floor for a long time. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQL. Peace. Bye. Bye.